Okay, we want to talk about finding area and perimeter um, on the coordinate grid and how we can do this a little quicker using our scale factor. Um, so the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to start out with a uh, rectangle in this case. And what we always want to do is we want to make sure that we have labeled um, the sides of our rectangle. So I've got three on one side and one, two, three, four, five, six on my bottom side. And um, what I could do, if I said this had a scale factor of 2, and I'm just going to put that up in the corner to remind myself, what I could do, if that were the case, is I could um, draw uh, another couple of shapes this direction um, and make them real similar shapes um, with a scale factor of 2, and I could do that by drawing three by and I want to go by six again so that they turn out to be the same shape and obviously I'm leaving a little bit of extra space here so that we can see um, but I should have three by six and my last one three by six so if that were all together as one shape I would have effectively used my scale factor um, to create one giant shape that now is going down by six, so that is down by six and going over by 12. And what I've done there is I've said, hey, I multiplied both of my sides, three times two equals six, and six times two is equal to 12. And we got both of those answers. Well, we can do that, um, but there's also an easier way that we can do this. Um, I'm going to start again with my same shape, um, and we will take a look at that same shape here. Um, so let's draw again a 3 by 6. So go in 1, 2, 3, and over 6. That looks like 6. So there's my first shape of 3 by 6. And if I s use my same information, said my scale factor was 2. There's a little bit easier way to do this. If I want to find the perimeter and area of a similar shape with a scale factor of 2, the first thing I need to do is find the perimeter of my original shape. So I've got 3 plus 6. Um, I'm working my way all the way around the shape is 9. Plus another 3 on this side would give me 12 plus another 6 on this side would give me a total of 18. And we're going to just say units on this because we don't have a measurement for this grid paper. If I were to find the area, I would simply do 3 times 6, or my length times width, and 3 times 6 happens to be 18 units as well. So that's pretty nice. We're working with the same number. In order to find the area and the perimeter of a shape with my scale factor of 2. What I'm asked to do is do my original perimeter. So perimeter was equal to 18 units and this time I'm just gonna times by 2 or times by my scale factor. Whatever this scale factor was up in the top, that's what I'm gonna multiply by. So I'm gonna multiply by 2. 18 times 2 gives me a total of 36 and remembering to label our units. Okay, for area, we're going to do the same thing, except for we've got one added step. We're going to start with our first area, and then we are going to multiply that by our scale factor, but this time we want to multiply by our scale factor squared. Because if you remember in the page that we did over here, what we really did was we squared this shape, right? We squared this shape. We created um, a mathematical square with this shape. Now, it's not a square as a shape, um, but that's what we do when we square a number. It's this original shape times itself going this way and times itself going this way. So it's this original shape really times 2. Um, so if we come back here, we've got 18 times 2. 2 squared, and before I can actually answer that, I want to go and simplify this using order of operations. That turns into 18 times 2 squared, or 2 times 2 is 4, 
and 18 times 4 gives me a total of 72 units squared. So that's a quick, easy way of um, finding our perimeter and area using a scale factor. I'm just going to remind you really quick to find perimeter. You're always going to multiply the original perimeter by the scale factor. Oh man, I'm not spelling that one very good there. By scale factor. And to find the area, you're going to multiply original area by the scale factor, but we've got one extra word here, and that is the scale factor squared. And we've got to make sure we remember to square, and that's with an exponent of 2. Okay, make sure you remember that scale factor squared for our area. And that's it. If you can remember those two things, you can find your area and perimeter of similar shapes very quickly just by using the scale factor given.